Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Uh, so, just wanted to catch up with y'all on <clears throat> a topic that uh, one subscriber had requested that I make a uh, video on the gas mileage. So, right now, as you can clearly see, it's at 21.1. So, we'll get into that and I'll just explain <clears throat> a little bit about what um, I've experienced so far. So, um, if you guys are new to the channel, you know, thank you for, for watching and uh, just to let you know, this is a car channel, specifically talking about the Hemi engines, chargers, challengers, uh, specifically just, you know, Mopar related content. I mean, I may, I may get into other cars like Mustangs and, you know, Camaros and stuff like that. I did have a Camaro that I traded in a little while back, so I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I... Today, I just wanted to simply, you know, just talk about the gas mileage since it was requested. And um, before I get into that, by the way, happy Mother's Day. Uh, if you're watching this, you know, to, uh, to everybody that's either a mother right now or uh, maybe expecting a child day or pretty soon. So congratulations to y'all and happy Mother's Day. Hope you have a fantastic day. You deserve it. Um, so <clears throat> jumping right into it, oh, as you can see, I'm at 7,800 miles. Um, so yeah, definitely put a lot of miles into this car. It's extremely hard not to drive it. Um, for me personally, I don't know about you guys out there, but I did get this car at the beginning of the year pretty much. And I'm already almost at 10,000. I'm at 7,800 right now, as you can clearly see right there. So definitely put a ton of miles on this car, but uh, I'm actually out in GA right now. I'm not in Illinois. So I'm um, just here to support uh, my nephews, just taking some time to you know spend time with family and whatnot so we'll see how you know uh, things play out but i should be back to illinois here pretty soon but for now just enjoying my time out here the weather is really really nice uh, as you can see out there <clears throat> so i'm just sitting in the car real quick it's, it's about what uh 80 i don't know it says 81 degrees i'm not sure if that's right but that's what it says anyway so just enjoying my time out in ga uh, I did want to come out to some car events, but I wasn't able to due to work and things of that nature. Um, and my nephew have my nephews have races or had races, I should say, um, you know, that they're competing in. You know, they won some trophies and whatnot. So again, just wanted to to uh, support them. Anyway, with that out the way, um, <clears throat> just wanted to talk about the gas mileage. So the gas mileage in this car, when I first got it, right? Just to explain. When I first got the vehicle, um, in order for me to even hit 20 miles per gallon, that was like extremely difficult. It was almost impossible to even hit 20 miles, even like 19.5. It was really, really, really tough to get that kind of mileage in this car in eco mode, as you can see with that little leaf symbol right there. That basically means your car is in eco mode. If you change it to sport or track, it'll say it right there where that little green leaf is. So right now, of course, it's in eco mode. It's not started. I just put it in the uh, run uh, mode. So just so you can see, you know, the numbers and whatnot. So right now uh, I'm sitting at 21. So anyway, when, when I did get the car initially, um, it was extremely hard to even get it to 20. And that's because even in the manual, Dodge does tell you that the car needs to break in. Basically, it takes some time for this car to really break in. And um, <clears throat> so as I was driving more and more, and I started to notice that my gas mileage was going up. So I took my first uh, road trip to GA and then I drove to Kansas, then drove back to Illinois. So kind of made a you know triangle loop or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but my gas mileage just steadily was going up as I was driving more and more. And <clears throat> I'm noticing that the more you break in the car, the more your gas mileage goes up. So now um, my car, well, actually later, actually, I should say after that trip, my car started to hit 21 miles per gallon. And now I'm up to like 22 and I'm gonna show you guys uh, just a small picture of that that I took the other day. So um, this is basically me just letting you know that the more you drive the car, the more your gas mileage is gonna go up. And one thing I definitely wanna point out is once you do your first oil change, once you get this car like brand new, on your first oil change, you will notice your gas mileage start to go up because before you actually make the first oil change, your gas mileage is gonna be very, very low. You're gonna be using a lot of gas and uh, I'm gonna show you a picture of you know how much it would cost. And this is particularly not from all the way you know empty, but it's from at least uh, like a quarter tank or maybe just slightly below a quarter tank, uh, how much it costs. 
Um, and this was at a Shell gas station and I took this yesterday or last night actually So I just wanted to or actually yesterday. Yeah, it was about 12 p.m. So I'll show you that here in just a second But again, just wanted to make a point that You know before your first oil change or maybe even your second or third and I've only done one oil change so far in this car um, Your car is gonna use a lot of gas. That's just the bottom line. So Just be prepared for that. And if you're planning on getting this car and um, if you're worried about gas mileage, you may need to think twice because I'm not going to say it does use a ton of gas, but it does use a lot of gas, guys. So just just keep that in mind. Um, and of course, since gas is kind of going up right now in a lot of places, it's not it's no longer two dollars anymore. It's up three dollars plus, you know, so uh, just keep that in mind. But anyway, so here's a copy of the receipt I received yesterday. And you can see the date right there it says the 8th, 12 p.m. Uh, you can see V power, of course, 93 octane is what it takes. So um, I put about 14 gallons. The price uh, at that Shell gas station was 3.5 or pretty much 3.6. Um, so it was a little bit expensive. It wasn't here in GA, it was somewhere else. Um, and then the fuel um, cost, of course, was, you know, 50.46. And again, this is from a quarter tank uh, to fill up. Okay, so just so you guys know, I think it was just slightly under. So yeah, that's how much it cost me. So just to give you guys some perspective on that. Um, and I'll, I'll add a picture if I hadn't added it just yet of what kind of gas, gas mileage I hit. It was about 22.8. So as you can see, my gas mileage is steadily going up. And again, like I said, um, I only did one oil change, so I'm going for the next one here pretty soon. I'm actually just slightly over the uh, uh, get the oil change mileage that you know Dodge had put on on my like the little sticker or whatever. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I don't know, it's not zooming in. There you go. So 77, and I'm already at 78. But again, I'm not freaking out about that. I'm just letting you guys know <clears throat> I'm gonna get the oil change here pretty soon. Um, and then once I do, then I'll see what my next gas, gas mileage, uh, you know, gauge will be at. But that's that's pretty much all I have, guys. I just wanted to kind of give you guys some perspective on what to expect. And my camera is kind of going haywire on me. I don't know what's going on here. But um, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions, guys. But really, um, if you're thinking about getting this car, um, really, really consider uh, your gas mileage. Uh, whether it's even worth it to even get this car because the gas mileage is pretty ridiculous guys So anyway, if you have any questions DM me, let me know, you know post a comment on, on the on the bottom there Just let me know what you guys are getting for your gas mileage Especially if you just got this car or if you're planning on getting one um, I've had a lot of people message me especially in the comments just saying, you know They're picking up a car. Or they know somebody that's picked up one. So congratulations to you guys. I'm telling y'all uh, like <laughs> It's it's pretty ridiculous this car is just an absolute monster and while i was driving the other day everybody just wanted a piece of this car like nobody <laughs> anybody that i passed i don't care what they were driving they just wanted a piece of this car they just wanted to hear it they just wanted me to just hit the gas so uh again i was driving a little bit spiritedly uh not too crazy but just enough to just uh you know give some people a show or whatever you want to call it um so they were just listening to the exhaust just appreciating the, the car and stuff like that so i uh, appreciate everybody that was giving me high, you know uh, thumbs up or whatnot uh, along the way um but i did meet a lot of people with chargers challengers mustangs i ran into a lot of 5.0s those guys are actually pretty cool i thought they were going to be jerks to me but they actually were pretty cool so shout out to you guys if you ever get to watch this channel i appreciate y'all um you know for just being just being real nice you know just being just being um you know real 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 cordial and nice and whatnot but anyway that's all i got for you guys let me know if you have any comments any questions uh, definitely we'll be covering more here pretty soon um, otherwise enjoy your day y'all enjoy your mopars it's a beautiful day out here in ga so if you're in ga take out your mopar man have some fun and i'll see you guys in the next one